Hey guys, Scott Jablinski, Modern Samurai Project. Uh, thanks for joining me in another one of my uh, Jedi moments. What a stupid name. Anywho, I uh, did a lesson today and, uh, you know, the guy kind of reminded me that I wanted to do this video about, because uh, he was having the same problems with his dot as far as uh, finding it on a presentation. And we worked through that. Uh, I thought I'd just share that with you today, you know, giving away some free milk so that maybe you guys will be interested enough to train with me in one of my classes or do a private lesson with me. So, let's talk about it. Just like my other themes before, I said the reason why you can't find the dot is because your engagement of useless frenetic motion. Uh, whether it is you uh, over turtling your head, uh, smashing out your arm, unlocking your arms to end in some sort of a seismic uh, stop at the end, doing some squatting IDF thing that you learned from your Krav Maga class, no disrespect to Krav Maga. Anyway, um, so we talked a little bit about that, okay, and I thought I'd share that method with you today uh, kind of briefly. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get that gun out, internet, clear gun, trigger pull, clear gun, awesome. All right, so uh, get into a nice high ready position. Why do I like the high ready position? This is high ready, this is me muzzling the internet, this is no ready. Got that from Steve Fisher. Thanks, Steve. Anyway, so I like um, a nice high ready position like here, right? And then we are just going to present out until we find the dot, right? Present out, find the dot. Present out, find the dot. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Present out, find the dot. Feel how you are. Look at your arm position. Are your uh, elbows bent? Are they locked? Whatever. Look at your wrist position. Look at your head position. See where your eyes are. Is the dot where you're looking? Look at your knees. Look at everything. And then come back and do that again. And do that again. And do that again. And then, so that what you're doing is you're building up that myelination and burning it into your proprioceptive indexes. So that in the future, it's subconscious competency. You don't need to think about it. It's just there. Okay. One of the things I will tell you is know why you're doing everything. Okay. For example, this guy's resting position today, right? Uh, not today, actually, it was another student, but his, uh, her resting position was like this. And I'm like, why is that your resting position? Well, why, are you, why are you doing this? Like doing what? I'm like overpowering with your right hand and kind of making a, a shelf with your left hand. Oh my God, I didn't realize why I'm doing that. Maybe that's why when you present up, you're slow because you got to turn the gun. Now you're looking for your sights and you're, oh, we're too late, now i got to pull the trigger in, you're always left. As opposed to when you pull the gun out there, now you're straight. Once we corrected that with her, she was spot on as far as her accuracy throughout the whole thing. I don't care if you do that, just know why you do it. Because if you don't know why you're doing something, how can it be the right thing? Something to think about. Something to think about. Okay, so once you got that done, you've got that a couple times, dot, dot. Here's, a, here's one that doesn't work because you went, bah! I don't see the dot, move your head. Oh, there it is, off to the left. Why did that happen? Maybe because I locked out my elbows again and did some seismic flinch at the end and my right hand overpowered my left hand because I didn't have equal pressure on the gun with both hands and it was over there. Maybe, something to think about. So let's get back nice and smooth, boom, dot, dot, dot. Now let's go to the draw. Let's get this nice and efficient. So what I tell people is get their shot timer off to the side and video themselves like I'm doing now, okay? Why do we want to try and go fast? Because when you go slow, you don't do goofy shit. When you go fast, it's when you induce the useless frenetic motion because that's what people think fast is. If you don't go fast, you don't know how you're goofy. So when we go fast and you pinpoint how you're being goofy, then we can eliminate the goofiness, eliminate the useless frenetic motion, and then what are you left with? You're just left with efficient speed. That's why you gotta train to go fast, okay? And for all those like, accuracy without speed, or speed without accuracy is nothing. I'm dry firing, bro, what am I hitting? Nothing. So what's, what's the danger? What's the danger? Going fast in the live fire has a similar thing, but that's a different thing. Okay? Kind of the same. We talked about the burn drill before. Your body can never go where it hasn't been before. But just in dry fire and finding the dot, 
That's what we're talking about right now. Okay? So let's give that a whirl. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay. There's the dot. How is that draw? I think I made the part time. Uh, it was a little bit fumbled because I got a sweatshirt on. I grabbed the belt a little bit. Hey, it happens. I ain't perfect. But that, see how fucked up that was? That was, I think I made the part time, which was one second. Right? That was not smooth. Okay? I grabbed it. That was okay. I grabbed under the belt, grabbed my guy, boom, and I still made it up into a second. You know why? Shot timer don't care about your smooth. It only cares about fast. Right? I still made the time, still saw the dot. Just food for thought. Hopefully the internet doesn't kill me. Let's do it again. That was perfect. Saw the dot, saw everything. Nice and efficient, fast draw, less than a second. Okay, let's do it again. Are you ready? Stand by. Okay, I don't see the dot. I wonder why. Don't move anything but your head. Oh, it's way off to the left. Why, why did that happen? Because I negated all my proprioceptive indexes and I reverted to some weird IDF squat thing. And because my body didn't know what the hell I was doing because it was something else was doing something else from something else, I didn't find the dot. Surprise, surprise. So then you say, hey, I didn't catch it. What happened? Where was it? You do it again and again and again. Then you compare the videos of the ones you did get and the ones you didn't get and eliminate those on those that you didn't get because those are the ones you need to pay attention to what were you doing differently than the other ones and that's how you get rid of useless frenetic motion and you can't find that unless you practice to go faster push yourself okay guys anyway scott jelinski modern samurai project would love to train with you if you got access to a range of at least 10 interested students with an open mind man i'd love to train with you so that being said be good, stay safe, get training. Thanks. Aim for the head, go for the throat. One for the money and two for the show. Shooting like stars to travel the globe. Zooming your view like a shroom in a load.